Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. This is Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at defensive end Jonathan Garvin out of Miami. And one of the things that I like about his game is that he has a very good rip move. He understands how to use it. He works under pretty well. He has a pretty good first and second step to get some depth into the pocket. But he tends to overrun the quarterback a little bit. He's just always a little bit off here. And, of course, his teammate makes the sack here, and he does get in on it. But I want you to see just his steps. You can see that the the right tackle here is going to open up a little too quickly. He opens up to that outside, and that really gives Garvin room to get in here. But Garvin doesn't take advantage of it as much as he could. And it's basically because of this inside foot. This inside foot where you see the flexion of the ankle and the knee and the hips here. He's got some of that going on there, but it needs to be a little bit tighter because he tends to overrun the quarterback in the pocket. We're going to see this repeatedly here where he gets that that step. He's just not able to come around as far as you would like to see. And we're going to watch a few more reps of this where he does this and then a rep where he does it really well. Here's another example where the right tackle just opens that gate too wide. His hips turn right here see how open he is see how that right foot backs here he's just open that's called opening the gate and that's just an invitation and what garvin does here is he just takes too long of a stride it's not this particular step it's the next step the instep watch how wide the next instep is see how wide that instep is now he's being pushed here but he's got to use his hands a little better rather than just lean the shoulder in. If he can use his hands a little bit to get up into the chest of that defender and take a shorter instep, he's going to be able to turn that corner a little quicker and wind up not going around the quarterback, but get into the quarterback. And that's where he can really improve, at least with his pass rush right away, because he's got a good quick first, he's quick first step. That's good. And, you know, he's able to use his hands to kind of work under and around here. But now it's just about getting pushed in the back and the shoulder. He could place his hand into the defender's chest to use that as a ballast and then use that instep instead of going a yard wider than he did. If he can get his instep to kind of where the quarterback's butt is, like where this yard marker is, he's going to turn that corner and be right where he needs to be instead of a yard behind it. And you can see how the hand needs to set that up first. Watch this next rep. He's going to get pushed again, and it's going to force him to take a wider step because he works inside the tight end. Again, 75 opens that gate really easily. And right here, he doesn't really have that inside arm up in the chest. He's not forcing the action with that arm. He's not really pushing. He's letting the defender push him. See how he's getting pushed there? The defender's able to lock out his arms on him like that. That's going to push him, force the wide step, and force him around. And even with that in step where he's got a good bend there he's just a yard away from the quarterback here so you know he needs to be able to cut that angle a little bit better and the first way he can do that is to get his hands on the defender first don't let the defender get his hands on you and then be able to use that so that when you're attacking and delivering a little bit of the push and the shock that allows you to control your step width a little bit better so that you can turn this corner just a step more effectively. Here's an example from the other angle. Now you're gonna see him in the closer to the camera here, working off this right side. And once again, first couple steps fine here, but turn into the defender a little bit. Don't try and go exactly around him, get into that outside shoulder and attack with that outside shoulder. He's attacked a little bit there, but the step here is a little short not pointed as much in terms of the toe. He can get that toe pointed a little bit more. Start that turn there and lean into that defender and get under here. Now you've got the you've got that little rip move and that's good, but now you're off course already. And you can see he's just not being able to get the step turn. The turn that he's got is right here, but he's already getting pushed at this point. He's got to be the attacker. You know, right here, second step, third step needs to be a little longer. And you can work into that shoulder, rip under, but it's more finesse. You want a little bit more pop, pop and rip, and then get that, get that step a little bit wider and angled. Get the toe pointed towards the quarterback where you can get that flexion while you're doing so. Do that, and he's going to consistently be in the quarterback's face or on his back. Here's a good example of 
Garvin doing this well. Watch that toe point right here. See, that's a little bit pointed more. That instep pointed a little bit better here. Turns the corner quicker, gets to the quarterback. Now let's see what the hands look like. Good slap of the first you know, arm there, the outside arm, rips under. Gets the toe pointed a little bit better here, but it's this instep. And he shortens the stride at the end. He can still do a little bit better earlier. He's still not quite getting it earlier here. And you can see he's still trying to avoid the defender who's opening up this gate pretty pretty quickly here. And he's just trying to turn around him because he sees how easy the defender does that and trying just to avoid the contact as much as possible with that little slap with the outside arm, the rip with the inside arm. And he's still not quite getting that that point early enough in terms of his outside foot and his inside foot to really turn that corner but watch him shorten his stride right here short stride there rather than a long stride even though he's getting pushed and then that short little stride right there and see how he's bent and he's able to just turn that corner very quickly so he kind of adjusted here you know in the second quarter to be able to shorten his stride just a bit as he's getting pushed instead of taking these long strides and those short little strides allowed him to turn that corner a lot tighter and finally reach the quarterback. We'll look at it from another angle here and see if we get any insight here from that. There's the rip. Long step, short, nice little turn. You can see the hip turn in the flexion there, but watch a short step, short step, short step. Reaches the quarterback. 